Okay, so I wanted to go through a quick way to uh, perform linear regression and create scatter plots on your computer. Uh, we need to go through the graph and calculator functions because that's what you'll use on the AP exam. But if you want to have a nice presentation and get through things more quickly, you can use this Staplet um, application. Uh, what you're going to use this time uh, when you go into staplet.com is you're using two quantitative variables. Okay. The nice thing about this is if you have your data in a spreadsheet like I have here, um, you can simply copy and paste the data into this format and be fine. So we've got housing addresses, uh, prices, number of bedrooms, and the size of the house. So let's say I wanted to say that the size of the house in square foot is predicting the price. So what I could do is I could just copy this data, control C, and then paste it into this menu. I don't have to worry about commas or anything. So you could just hit control V and it all goes in there. So I'm going to say size and square. Okay, that's going to hopefully predict our price. So price in dollars. Okay, and I can go back and I can uh, copy this price data, control C, and then paste that right into this menu, control V. Okay. Once I have all that set up, uh, again, make sure you think about your explanatory and re response variable at a time. Explanatory is the X variable, uh, what you think is going to impact the outcome or the response. Um, figure that out ahead of time. Your correlation is going to be the same either way, but um, the thought process is different for each. So once you're ready, you can click begin analysis and you'll see if I can move my picture out of the way. Um, the scatter plot will show up nicely and they, they come up with a very nice scale. I found this to be very helpful um, when coming up with graphs. And you can just use a snipping tool or a screens capture tool if you just want the scatter plot uh, and a nice visual aid for a presentation or something like that. Okay. Um, this feature also calculates correlation coefficient. You can just hit this button here and you can see R is fairly strong, so 0.7. Eight, so you'd say that's a um, moderate to strong positive, and it looks like a linear relationship or association, whatever you want to call it, between the size of the house and the price. Okay, um, and if you go even further, you can calculate the regression model. We call it the least squares. As we go through this chapter more, you'll learn why it's called that, and you get the actual equation of the regression model. You get the sample size and some other summary statistics that we'll go through going forward. It also shows you um, the line of best fit directly on the scatter plot. Uh, if you scroll over, you can see different values, uh, which are helpful. Uh, it shows you something called a residual plot, which we'll be looking at as we go forward, and uh, individual residuals as a um, dot plot. So a very helpful tool. Um, much easier to work with than your graphing calculator. Unfortunately, like I said, we have to use the graphing calculator on the AP exam as of now, um, but this tool is better for just going through day-to-day -day operations. So um, hopefully you find this useful, um, and we'll be using this on some of the assignments throughout the rest of the week. Okay, thanks so much for watching, uh, and let me know if any of this is unclear.